Hey, what's up? Back again. First base note hit me in the chest, and I was just like, there's no way that's too late. MB Enclosures it has his own YouTube channel, and this guy is an animal when it comes to designing boxes. And Let's talk about this meter. Let's talk about the little boy right here. The SSA APX meter. Uh, it's very respected in the industry. I don't know if I did this video before, but we're going to do it again because I got so many videos. Uh, it's, it's very respected in the industry as being accurate of depicting what something is pressurized on a certain vehicle. So I'm going to be using this in a series of tests when I test 12s, 10s, and do one subwoofer against another. Sometimes I don't even have that subwoofer. So we're going to have a video on record of how much pressure was generated inside my application by using the SA meter. Let's understand something about this SA, SSA APX meter. It does not care about brands. It doesn't care what box you got in it. It doesn't care about how much you love a particular sub. You doesn't care about how many you love the looks of the sub. And numbers don't lie. All this, all this device is gonna do is tell you what it meters inside the vehicle. Period. It's gonna be, a, it's used for quantification purposes. So if your favorite subwoofer loses in the same location, because the, the, the meter's gonna be on the dash. So when we do the videos with the app, you get to see the real time score. You get to see what it, the loudest frequency it metered at, and you'll see some other frequencies underneath. Sometimes the loudest frequency meter it might be higher than another brand where it metered uh, a certain such might be lower, lower frequency. But <laughs> most of the times, if it meters high, if you watch that little box, you will see it attain a score, a lower score, it's a, a significant uh, number either that might equal the, which in some, which might equal the score of another brand that all it did was the highest was here. I'll give you an example. Let's say I got a 12 and it does, it meters 142 with 30 hertz. And I put another 12 in and it does a 145 at 35 hertz. And then you say, well, this sub was lower. But if you look at, you say the other, the first sub was lower even though it scored less. Well, if you look inside that box and watch that box, you may, you you will see that in most instances, the, the, the sub that did 145 at 35, you watch that little box in the right-hand corner up here, and you will see it did the 142 at 30 hertz as well. It's just that wasn't the loudest frequency. So even though it did attain it, the meters are only going to show you the loudest. It's not going to say, hey, yeah, he, well, he did that too, and he also scored higher here. So with these purposes, this device actually tell you what subwoof is going to be louder overall. That and that fiction. I don't care even how I feel about it. Even when I put DD up against stuff. This is not going. This is only going to tell you what the what the subwoof did in my vehicle, whether I like it or not. It's going to tell the truth. Peace. Get in if you need any closure. Four four six nine four. Stay out your feelings. Deal with the facts. When this SSA meter tell you how your subwoofer act. <laughs> Peace, man. Four four six nine four four eight one eight.